Oh, hey there, everyone. Welcome to another YouTube video here on the channel. My name is Emily Jane. When I first saw that this mod had come out, I screamed with delight. What mod am I talking about? I hear you cry. It's Kurt Hill's Type 45 Destroyer. This is probably the most capable air defense platform that Great Britain has. Well, no, it's the most capable platform Great Britain has. Probably that NATO has, to be honest. Uh, well, naval air defense platform, I should say. Oh, I'm so excited for this thing. Um, let's see what I can do. And I'll do a quick little profile run through. Okay, so this is how you, I'm going to show you. you can get the mod, then we'll go through it further. This is Current Hill's website. Current Hill is a freaking genius. I love Current Hill. I really do. As far as I'm aware, Current Hill is a guy. He can have my firstborn child, as far as I'm concerned. So, he's released some pretty snazzy-looking mods. Swedish military asset mods. We've used that before. That was pretty snazzy. Type 55. Or 055, sorry. I've not actually used that yet. But that's a Chinese destroyer. I may figure out a scenario to deploy that in. The, the Renhai class. You've, of course, seen me use the Admiral Gorshkovs and the Karakats. Now, this is the... Oh, I'm so excited about this. You, I, I literally cannot put into words how much this excites me. So, this is the Type 45. Oh, you basically, basically you click that link there. It opens this up. You download it. Follow the instructions. You can't go wrong. Weapon Systems and Radars has the mighty, I believe that's the Samson there, the S1850M Radar, Navigation Radar Series 25800 EOS, Electro Optical Scope, uh, BAE Mark 8 Mod 1, 114 Mike Mike Naval Artillery Gun, Phalanx Block um, 1B, 20 Mike 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 Seaways, 2 of, 1 that side, 1 the other side. Mike 134 7.62 sorry uh, L7A2 7.62 GPMGs that is all over the deck basically um, the, the Jimpy um, you've got the M134 7.62 millimeter minigun that is I'm not actually sure where they mount them on these fun little fact about Navy Navy miniguns we'll have a little look and see if it's actually been modded on here if it has I'd be impressed um That'd be a 7.62. Where's the minigun? That's a phalanx. That's the Seawiz. That's Jim P. Jim, um, there you go, minigun. Has he put this in the model? Because it's a very little niche fact I know, but no, he hasn't. So, what was I going to say? The GPMG, sorry, the, the minigun in Royal Navy use, when they first got them and demoed them, they had a, an admiral that already ready to see the gun being fired yet. Sailor presses the two buttons on the minigun to fire it. The bow comes flying off. <laughs> and obviously it goes over the side. <laughs> After that embarrassment, all Royal Navy miniguns have a little lock that you use to double check that you that you haven't actually that you actually that you have actually put the barrel lock, you know, put the barrel on the gun. And it isn't gonna just come flying off. We've got 16 Asta 15 surface time missiles. 32 Aster 30s, 8 naval strike missiles. I'm going to double check what those are actually. Uh, so this features custom full custom 3D model, which we've which we've seen, custom textures with rough mats, custom weapons animations, custom sounds for wet webs, navigation lights, helipad lights, animated wet webs, play controllable guns, damage model with visible damage, flag wave effect, antennas with swing effect, animated sailors. So what I'm going to do is we're going to put this into a little bit of a test scenario. This is something I know Duncan did in Battleship. Well worth watching. It's on Channel 5 now, whatever the crap they call it. They, oh dear God. Um, <clears throat> this is sort of just using Kassab because it's a sort of different but also sort of legal exercise here. So they escorted a, I believe it was a river class patrol boat that was going in to basically rescue some aid workers or something that were in Syria. Type 45's job was to provide air defense cover. Um, so the Type 45, that is the bread and butter where a Type 45 is for. It is an air defense ship. Um, so basically, as the Castle class uh, minesweeper goes in, uh, it basically just goes into the port. Hopefully it doesn't get stuck. I'll do that just for its own benefit. We'll pretend it goes in, they jump on, and it pulls straight back out again. 
Our job is to type 45 to sit here and provide our defense cover. What's going to be attacking us? Well, a rat heard that, that we've got some, some new toys and are very happy about it. Um, I'll actually go from this side to this side. So the main bread and butter that I've programmed to attack automatically is the silkworm. This has a honking big missile on here. That'll come flying off. Attack, it comes about 30 feet off the deck. Um, so we've got to defend... Uh, I believe it's ten, yeah, sorry, 10 missiles of that. I've also got some high Mars here, just as, as an extra, because I'd love to see how it defends high Mars. High Mars with attack and missiles on board. And lastly, just for a bit of um, extra dimension. Huh. We'll start that over, because I've got this wrong. Scuds. So these Scud missile launchers, obviously a theater ballistic missile. I want to see how it defends that. Hopefully that's within the minimum engagement range for, for a Scud. If not, I might, I might, actually no, I'll leave them there. It'll be fine. It always is. It'll be fine. Right. So, without further ado, let's do this mission. So, after I do this, I am going to rerun. Uh, I am going to put this. Sorry, I'm going to put this up against some ships because I'd love to see how this thing fares. This is obviously the best representation we've ever had of a Type 45. So it's definitely time to see how it does. Fingers crossed, the baddy waddies swing some missiles. If not, I will scream, but we can always cheat and just drop missiles on it. So the main problem at the moment is, I mean, you can literally actually you can see the coast from here. So the search radars should be able to track. Type 45 is moving about, which is good. We like it when Type 45 moves about. I've noticed we've got no audio, so let me fix that. Shit. We have audio. There we go. Right, I'm going to knock that down a level, and I'm going to knock myself down a hair just to thingy that. Looks absolutely gorgeous. We've got people on battle stations. We've got our peeps on the, the guns. got the 5-inch gun. The, well, the 170 mag mic. got the radars spinning. Um, this Merlin I put on the back deck, that is a mod. I've just put that on there, really, for scenery. Unfortunately, it is clipping the uh, the, 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 the Royal Naval Ensign. God save the King and all that kind of malarkey. Nothing shot yet. The Castle Class is bombing it into port to, to, to go pick these guys up. Yeah, we'll pretend they're like putting one of those dinghies in the water and the dinghy's going to go get them or something. I don't know. Are these guys looking like they want to do a thing? No, they're not. Right. I can't even control them because lol. <laughs> Oops. So we do have our missiles here. But unfortunately, as always in the infinite world of DCS, I think what I'm going to do is ensure that it can see it. Give me a moment. Alrighty, guys, I've had to change the narrative up. So I was going to aim to do a... Uh, uh, basically, a just defending against missiles. However, the Iranian Navy's showed up. I've had no luck in the missiles to work, so we're going to do this instead. This is a Molnia uh, Tarantul-style class boat. The Iranians have very similar styles of, of ship. Uh, it, broadly speaking, they sting the same type of missiles, which are basically four subsonic, large, you know, it gets through, you're dead missiles. So we've got four of those lined up. We'll give it the instruction to attack. Form command. No. Form task, attack group. We'll just say naval two, which is our type. Watch well, naval one because that's in theory the one we want to attack. Hopefully, we can also just quickly. No, right. I'm trying to get rid of you. You were cool. You're not anymore. Um, delete that. I was trying to get NAWAX in. That was the only way to, to make that work. Yeah, I can't tell it what to do, but hopefully it'll figure out that that's a friendly. It should probably think about defending it. So, four Molniers, just a really easy... You know, it's, it's really, you're outnumbered at that point. Molniers, not the newest thing, and this is quite a new bit of kit. The ship... Sorry, the um, 
so yeah, the the naval strike missiles. I saw one launch. It's not a harpoon, is what I'm going to say. We're not in Kansas anymore. We're not in Kansas anymore. We're going to try putting this guy here as a as a coast watcher to try and give targeting directions. So Type 45. Is here. What we'll do is, oh, that, um, what we'll do, we can do is just set sort of, I put those guys too far away. Stand Missiles are out, boys and girls. So we've got the naval, the NSM, the naval strike mi missile. It's on the deck. It's supersonic. It's 15 feet off the ground. This, you can't fire these in the North Sea. We get more than 15 foot waves up here. Right. Oh, missiles out of the... of the mall here. It's just going to be a hit. It's going to be hitting a kill, I think. Bonk. Wow. Straight down to red health. Two two kills on the mall here. We have already got missiles inbound. KH-41s. Okay, these are fast. These are supersonic. Can we defend them? Yep, we, no, that's an, that's, that's an NSM. Hang on. There we go. So we've got NSMs in there. We've got Aster 15s. This is one missile that we have. And this is the Aster 30. Wow. Right. Uh, I think this one's going to hit first. Oh. Seawiz is out by the looks of things. Wait, where's this KH-41? Ooh, 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 ooh. So, what it should be... I'm trying to... I think it's trying to plonk it straight in front of it, but I genuinely cannot see where this KH-41... Oh, no, it's miss. It's a miss, miss, miss. Aster 30, what about... Well, actually... For, so, this KH-41, I'm going to... <laughs> There's so much going on! Right. Oh, no, sorry, I actually think it might have killed it. Because they disappeared. Or actually, it would have been CRAM that got that. This, this is going to be a hit. Boom! Asa 15, success, first round. Got NSMs going after the Molniers. Molniers are going to be dead soon. Castle class is unscathed. Ooh. We love the Type 45, boys. We do. We lost an NSM there. I think they're going after sunken ships. It's a DCS bug. Thump! Wow, that was just a kill outright. Just killed it. He's dead. This guy's getting ready to fire his shot. I suggest he launches soon. <laughs> Otherwise, he won't have a shot to launch. I think we've seen... Wow, Aston 15 is away. Wow, 1,800 knots at sea level. The nose of this thing's going to be sweltering hot. Bonk! Another KH-41, Aster-15, watch it from the other side this time. Wow. Oh. Right. So the castle class has, is now making it, it's become grounded. Shit! <laughs> Aster 15 in the air. Bonk. So I think what we're going to see now, actually, Type 45, is firing the main gun. This guy is out of own. He's just suicidally brave. Just running at him. He's been straddled with rounds, but this guy has not got long left. That's put all the singe marks there from where the uh, missiles launched. That was there before we got hit. That's cool to know that, that it'll do that. Meanwhile, Type 45 totally unscathed. Just firing that main gun. Castle class is grounded. We'll pretend Castle class has picked his people up at his maiden escape. 
Molly, who is sadly brave, is not sadly sad enough. He's dead now. No, he's not quite dead yet. But wow, he's just on a kamikaze mission at this point. The bridge is gone. It's gonna be dead. It's gotta be dead now, right? One bar of health. I mean, the ship's uncontrollable. Oh, a jump! You know, just take your chance in the Persian Gulf lands. I know the sharks, but Jesus, it. it you, you've got to have ready service ammunition going off on those uh, cash stands at the back. Wow. Wow. So, Type 45 is pretty good then, yeah. He doesn't care. Savage violence. He's he's turning now because he's he's trying to keep that race track. He is going to re-engage. Since he, the the Bolney is dead, we're just going to have a look. So we've got the uh, 7.62 machine gun. Pretty cool. Uh, I think it's yep. This might change positions. 7.62. See where's so this so this is the minigun. So it's not a Royal Navy machine gun. We've robbed this one off off the air force probably. So the Brits don't really use the um, thing very much. Let's find that all near. Get me range to target. Range. 9.39. Range 17. It's just outside my range, but what I can do is just elevate to 17. The rounds will splash probably over there somewhere. We'll do a quick little run around the racetrack and then we'll engage him again once we get to our turning point. Um, wow. This is crazy. There we go. Stand by for range to target. Target, range, break. 9.4. No, 17.3. 17 so we'll center on that. 17.4. I do like to put a bit of spread on them as well. What I will do is I will now basically say I no longer wish to have control of you. I think I can do that by... I can't actually. But anyway, we'll just... Actually, I can. I can do that. No, I can't. Wonderful. Molnir is dead, though. Like, let's be honest. Yeah, he's sailing, but the bridge is gone. It's just a matter of time. I will actually, just just for some fun of engaging with other wap waps, basically cause them to run each other, and then we'll engage them with small arms. Oh, look, there he is. Do a bit, quick bit more fast forward, get that range closed a bit further. Yeah, still 7k, still, you know, 5 miles, which is, you know, it's a difficult small arms shot, let's be honest. That's probably the close we're going to get to each other, where's he gone? There he is. Oh 
okay. I'm just engaging with all the all the the deck weaponry we have here. Turns out my naval gunnery skills not the greatest. Uh, right, I'm missing a 200 meters short, break, engage. So we want about a 3k gunshot. Completed. I'm out of iron rounds. Shit. Right, I'm about a 3k gun solution. Doing a reload on this. Yeah, we're out of rounds. Anyway, that's because I can't shoot. Boss, that 45. Pretty cool bit of kit. I'm going to really quickly reload just to have the full weapon solution again. And then we'll do a quick debrief on that. Honestly, the main issues I faced with this, this thing today was me. Let's be pretty honest here. This thing looks absolutely freaking gorgeous. The you know, It looks like a ship that's been at sea for a little while, which is great you know we don't need something that's right out of the box but it's nice to have some bridge detail that's always difficult to get right which is fair enough overall you know it looks like type 45 been on board of one of these it looks the part it you know weapons wise incredibly capable as these things are um yeah, i'm excited to see what we can do with this in dcs now uh, i'm definitely going to do the rerun of the nato surface action group versus the black sea fleet because i think honestly with a cable type 45 in there we can kick some crazy bot bots. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button. Subscribe, subscribe to see more from me on a regular basis. See you next time. Bye for now.